Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I took a little bit of damage in the last part, so I'm gonna... Ooh, that was a lot of hearts. So I'm gonna recover my health a little bit using ye all pots around the area. And once you approach this thing, she's gonna give you a little uh, history lesson on the souls here. Why, yes I would! And that is what you need to put in those slots around the place. I just want to get a couple more hearts if that's so kind. Okay, that's fine. So over here, just hit the hand, pick it up, and now put it inside that slot. See how it dispels the darkness? Yep. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! And this is the pressure that I was talking about at the end of the last part. That is Zant's hand. And it's going to attempt to grab that soul, and you need to put it in those things to make stairs appear, as well as get your way, get your, uh, get through this thing. Um, if that grabs the soul, what'll happen is that it'll, he'll pull it off its pedestal, and then this, this stuff will disappear. I'll just show you, since this is a room with very little pressure, see what I mean? Now, if you want to steal it back, you can't... Oh, you can. Well, you... But you can shoot it with that, but what's more ideal is if you use the claw shots and then, come on, grab it again. Just come on, I just want to show the audience here. Come on, grab it. You can do it. You're a hand. You can grab it. There you go. <laughs> and then pull it right out of his hand like that. <laughs> It'll be just a stun, and that's probably the better way to do it in my opinion. So now go up here, get on top of solid ground, from a distance, grab the, the soul sphere, and look at that, you are out of the room! Awesome! I'll go through the door with it, and now you're gonna have to solve puzzles with the soul. But you're gonna have to solve puzzles while you're being pressured by Zan's hand, and it is kind of annoying. But that is okay. Alright, let's go through here. And here it comes! It can phase right through walls and go from room to room in a very creepy fashion. Go, 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 go! <laughs> oh, jeez, these guys are gonna spawn because I'm spelling darkness. Okay, plop it in there. It's gonna make stairs appear. Oh, I was, I was too late. Oh, wait, I went on the wrong side. Curses! Okay, it's gonna be more enthralled with the soul anyway. <laughs> okay, get up on solid ground. Oh, no, no, no! Rappers, get up and grab that soul. Go, 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 yes. Run, 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 run. <laughs> and that's basically the idea of this dungeon, where I should say the gimmick of this dungeon is transporting souls from one place to the other and keeping it safe from the darkness. And keeping yourself safe from the darkness as well, while that hand is stalking you the whole way. All right, let's go through the door. First segment. Done! Well, for the most part. Because you can just walk up this hill. It's still going to be stalking you, but it's so easy to get up this uh, last incline. And uh, it, it is literally, quite literally an incline for a reason here, because that the soul will roll down the hill. <laughs> it's very clever design, I have to say. So that, that hill actually had a, a purpose other than just being a hill, you know, just for the sake of being a hill. It's, it's reverse dungeon engineering, I suppose you can say. <laughs> See, it's not, not that hard to get through this. Just go, go, go. Don't stall too much, otherwise the hand will catch up with you. Good. And now we are back in the main lobby. This place has such a creepy feel, but as you've seen from the last part with what... Uh, um, I was gonna say Twilight. Oh my God, I've been watching the show too much. <laughs> not 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 Twilight. Twilight. I mean, My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. <laughs> uh, yeah, I didn't think this would do anything if I put that on there. But I I'm thinking of Midna. Anyway, I'm going to free the denizens of the Twilight, and I'll, I'll give you a better look at their faces once I free all of them by approaching them with the soul orb. I'm sure they are quite pleased to be uncursed. Oh wait, there's one more up here. I forgot about you. Can't forget about you. 
But yeah, the, the place, the Twilight here is not a bad place whatsoever. It's just that it cannot intersect with the normal world, so to speak. All right, I'm gonna plop that in there. It's gonna activate. Now a platform's gonna appear on the, on the left side. Well, it's not a platform yet, but you'll see what I mean. It's on the other side. Okay, so once you step on this, it's gonna take you to the other side. See, there wasn't any claw shot targets to get over there or anything. That's why you needed to take the right path to get the soul orb. And there we go. All right, there's one more to free on this side, I suppose. Still can't talk to the peeps, which is kind of sad. I'd like to hear what they have to say, actually, considering that they've been ruled by Xan for quite a while. But maybe they're too frightened to talk or something, I don't know. All right. Second part. You. I'm gonna... Uh, hmm. I was thinking I want to take care of them up here before I jump down there, otherwise they're gonna be in my way. I've got so many arrows, I don't even know why I'm not bothering to use them more often. <laughs> ah, curse you, Keys. You're so squirmy. It's kind of hard to get a lock on them. There you go. You can't lock on them, actually, but I, what I mean is that it's, it's hard to anticipate their movements. Um, is there anything in the shadows here? Just wanna... Be sure, because it's hard to see otherwise. Use your senses to see through the fog. There's that, but that's that's not until a little bit later. You need something else, and you'll know what it is. You'll know what it is once I get to it. Um, yeah, I, I don't see anything of importance. All the uh, other stuff seems to be around the perimeter of the room, which is fine. I just wanted to make sure I didn't miss anything before I got myself up there. Alright, get your claw shot out. And... Go up there. Onto the platform. I'm just gonna drop off here because I don't really care all that much. <laughs> oh, oh, wait. Oh, shoot. I forgot about that. I can't do it like that. I need to go like this. And then shimmy me up. Oh, right. That's a moving platform. <laughs> I'm thinking of something else, and I keep messing up. What I'm actually supposed to do, then, is go down like this, and then wait for it to be underneath me, and plop down on top of it. And then wait for the platform to move over. Alright, so since all the treasure chests are on the left and right sides of this room... Uh oh Jesus. Can I do something about you? <sighs> I can't do it from a distance, apparently. Well, I... Maybe I can. <laughs> if you just spawn in front of me, why not? It, see, these, this platforming is kind of annoying to get across with him. I can't guard that with my shield, really? Or did it just get around me? What I did was I, I pressed the Z button to raise my shield. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try guarding it with my shield again. Oh, well, if it's just gonna miss me, what's the point of attacking him then? Well, I probably have to attack him to, you know get through this room and get a key or something like that, but I mean to get to do the platforming se segment. Uh, is that it? Looks like it. Okay. Good enough for me. <laughs> Voila. And we open this chest. And we get a purple rupee. And we open this chest. We probably get a key. Yep. Seems the uh, Zant masks tend to guard the keys in this dungeon. Uh, I wonder if I could have got those treasure chests on the side route there without. Hmm. Well, well, it wasn't hard to get over here anyway, so I'm just gonna platform my way over there and see if I can get those chests now. Whoop. Is it possible to get those chests now? I don't. No. Oh, that's too bad. Okay. Awesome playing, PK Gam. You truly are a professional gamer. <laughs> All right, let's do our platforming again. <sighs> there we go. Let's go. I'll get the other chests in a minute. Well, not in a minute, but I'm gonna have to come back through that road soon anyway. All right, so we got some more shadow here. I'm pretty sure you can expect to be fighting. Yeah, in wolf form. <laughs> At least for the most part. Oh, shooty, shoot, shoot. 
Where was the other one? Oh, I guess there was only three in this particular area. No big deal. Just lock onto all of them. Kill them off. Keys too. Good. Oh, jeez. You're here. Why are you here? Probably have to guard another key. Where did it go? Oh, you go over there, huh? Maybe he, maybe this this particular mask doesn't go in the, the darkness? The, the cursed magic stuff. Maybe, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, whatever. I'm fine with that. I wouldn't be able to uh, fight him in human form, then. I still hear enemies around this area. That just might be the ones in the fog. Unless I missed one somewhere in there. Yeah, I must have missed one. Because I didn't get the key. Oh! Where did you come from? I, I didn't see you in my other routes. Unless there was two of them. I'll just get into... Whoa! whoa there's three! Okay, that... There definitely was not three in there before. <laughs> so I guess they just spawned behind me and I didn't notice. Once I killed the other one. Uh, maybe I should be using my... B button attack. It's kind of hard to charge it up though. Because they're all firing at me at the same time. Once I do... Once I take enough... Damn, I mean, once they take enough damage, excuse me, they'll be done for, but it's hard to tell how much damage I've dealt to them because I can't tell which one is which. You know, my strategy for dealing with multiple enemies is to divide and conquer, like to make things less complicated by taking on one enemy at a time, so that's my most ideal strategy for that sort of thing. But I wasn't able to do that to do that there because I couldn't differentiate between them. Alright, I'm pretty sure I have to be human to get across there. I think. I think. <laughs> I probably have to um, I gotta get I definitely I gotta get higher, that's for sure. Oh, uh, there's a couple chests that I can get right now, so why not? start with this one. Purple Rupee. And that's why I want to empty my wallet out further, because this dungeon has quite a lot of cash. <laughs> uh, there's one, and there's a chest over here. I'm not going to bother with, with the paths that have pots, because I'm not really concerned about that so much as I want to get the chests. And I guess I can go over to the big one last. Yeah. Oh, there's two big ones here. Maybe one is the dungeon map and one is the uh, key in for the room or something? Okay, that one's the key. Dungeon map, dungeon map, dungeon map. <laughs> you know I you know I love my dungeon maps. Boop. Yeah, this is definitely the dungeon map because you got a little cutscene accompanying it accompanying it, excuse me. There we go. And if you look at the map, you'll see that we have already visited most of the rooms. This, it's a very, very small dungeon. And these these paths that you go up to the boss eventually, they are um, connected to the middle room. You'll see what I mean once I get there. And, but first I'm going to uh, finish off this segment. Yeah, I can grab on. Yeah, I can grab onto that. Mm, and go... Here is good. Cleared out this room of chests nicely. But I can't do the other room in the way back, back until I get something else. I'm going to have to go back through the left and right paths with a newfangled item that I'll be getting quite shortly, actually. Alright. Boss number two! And it is actually more of like a round two, so to speak. It is Phantom Xant once again. But he's a little bit faster this time. But overall, the fight is pretty much the same. So let's do it! Once again! Dang, Shadow Portals. How did Link not notice that? He was right behind him, or maybe he did, and he just had a delayed reaction. <laughs> maybe he wanted to surprise Xant or something. And we got a bunch of seeds, that means they're Deku Babas. They aren't, they aren't really worth bothering with, because they're just there for the most part. But where is 
Zant. Oh, there you are. Oh. And they're pretty slow to attack you as well. These uh, Deku Babas. Just, just weave in between them. They take a lot to destroy, so... That's why I'm not bothering with the Babas, especially since they despawn like that. Okay, where... Eh. Where are you going to make a portal, or try to make a portal up here? Come on. No. Do you always make a portal up here in the center? Because if so, you're pretty much done. <laughs> because I'm, I'm just going to stay in the center then and wait for you to come here. Um, that certainly feels like the case, because he keeps teleporting until he gets to... Where is he now? Oh, wait, no, he's not making it in the center. Oh! That was an attack, not a portal. Well, whatever. I didn't take any damage on that fight, really. I'm kind of impressed by that, actually. So he spread some more darkness around this area, which is no big deal, because you know you're going to get that soul over there shortly. But I think I'm going to do that next pressurized segment in the next part. Uh, I'm going to recover my health in this part, though, before I end it off, just to speed things along this time. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you then.